Hi, I'm Aaron Merch from 2H Media. In this video, we're going to take a look at five common print design terms and their meanings. One of the most common things any print shop will ask you for when providing print-ready files is a bleed. The bleed is simply an overflow of excess artwork that extends past the printable area of your design. This ensures that as things shift during printing, you don't have to worry about any unsightly white or black borders appearing around the edges of your print. When printing product packaging, your bleed will often consist of a textured pattern extending past the cut line. When printing anything that includes illustrated artwork, you want to ensure that your illustrator includes enough content around the edges of the image to allow you to create a bleed without cutting off any important content. Another important term you'll hear used quite a bit during printing is safety. This refers to a smaller area within your printable surface that includes important information you don't want to have cut off if anything shifts during cutting. Typically, a print shop will be able to tell you what size of safety is required to ensure that nothing is lost during the cutting process. Another important term which I've actually already used in this video is a cut line, which is also often referred to as a die line. This is the actual outline of whatever object you're having printed. In the case of product packaging, usually this will be an outline of a foldable box or insert. The cut line acts as an anchor for both your bleed and your safety, and will need to be clearly indicated to your printer if they are not providing a template for your project. Another extremely important term that you'll hear mentioned by a lot of printers is color mode. In general, there are two color modes that most small businesses need to worry about. RGB and CMYK. In simplest terms, RGB refers to colors that are best represented by the lights of a computer monitor, while CMYK refers to colors that are best represented by the blended inks used in printing. While graphic designers often work in RGB, you'll want to make sure that whoever is creating your print files converts them to CMYK before passing them off to your printer. Without converting your files to CMYK, there's no way to be sure that the print files that are actually produced match what you're looking at on screen. The last term we're going to talk about in this video is a print proof, often shortened to just a proof. A proof is a sample of the printed work provided to you prior to starting a full production run. Often, a printer will provide you with one or more digital proofs, and in some cases one or more physical proofs. These give you a chance to review your print files and ensure that everything looks right before the full production run starts. Before engaging any printer, I strongly recommend asking them what their proof process is and finding out how many digital and physical proofs you're entitled to. A strong proofing process is your last line of defense to make sure that you don't see any mistakes in the final production run. So there you have it. If you followed along with this entire video, you should have a basic understanding of five common print design terms. 